Hello and welcome to MBKM Models, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow for more aircraft documentaries and model build videos. The Bristol Bulldog is a British Royal Air Force single-seat biplane fighter designed during the 1920s by the Bristol Aeroplane Company. More than 400 Bulldogs were produced for the RAF and overseas customers, and it was one of the most famous aircraft used by the RAF during the interwar period. The design of the Bulldog was the outcome of a series of design studies for fighters undertaken by Frank Barnwell during the 1920s. In 1924 Barnwell had started work on a fighter powered by the Rolls-Royce Falcon to meet the requirements of specification F-1724. The project was shelved since Bristol preferred to use its own engine designs, but was revived in 1926 when Barnwell started work on a design, designated the Bristol 102, to meet either F-926 for a day and night fighter or N-2126 for a ship-borne fighter. The Type 105 designation was first applied to a subsequent proposal for another aircraft to meet F-926 powered by the Mercury engine then under development at Bristol. These proposals looked promising enough for a pair of mock-ups to be constructed for inspection by the Air Ministry in February 1927. The two aircraft were similar in design. The interceptor to specification F1724 design being slightly smaller and lighter and not equipped with radio, as a result, Bristol was asked to revise the design so that it met a later interceptor specification, F2027. Subsequently, a prototype aircraft, now designated the Type 107 Bullpup was ordered for evaluation, but the other design did not gain official backing. Nevertheless, Bristol considered it promising enough to build a prototype to be entered for the F-926 trials as a private venture, powered by a Bristol Jupiter because the supply of Mercuries was expected to be limited. The Type 105 was an unequal span single bay biplane powered by a supercharged Bristol Jupiter 7 air-cooled radial engine driving a two-bladed propeller. The structure was all metal with a fabric covering using members built up from rolled high tensile steel strips riveted together. In order to ensure the maximum field of view there was a large semicircular cut out in the trailing edge of the upper wing and the inboard section of the lower was of reduced cord. Three sailorons were fitted to the top wing only. It was armed with a pair of 303A inch 7.7A mm Vickers machine guns mounted one either side of the cockpit. The prototype Bulldog first flew on the 17th of May 1927. Initial testing was entirely satisfactory and it was delivered to RAF Martlesham Heath in June. After consideration of all the types entered to meet the specification, the Bulldog and the Hawker Hawfinch were selected for more detailed evaluation. The maneuverability and strength of the Bulldog were praised by the RAF. It had poor spin recovery characteristics, which were remedied by fitting an enlarged fin and rudder but this led to difficulties in taxiing in a crosswind. A second prototype with a lengthened rear fuselage was ordered for further evaluation in comparison with the Hawfinch. In this form, the Type 105A or Bulldog Mark II was first flown by Cyril Ewins on 21 January 1928 and shortly afterwards delivered to Martlesham Heath. Performance was so close to that of the Hawfinch that a decision was deferred until the aircraft had been evaluated by service pilots. The eventual choice of the Bulldog was made largely because it was easy to maintain. An initial contract for 25 aircraft was placed. Bristol accordingly laid down 26 airframes, the extra one being intended as a company demonstration aircraft. The first of these were delivered on 8 May 1929 and deliveries were complete by 10 October. Later production aircraft were of a refined version, the Mark IIa with revised wing spars and a stronger fuselage, powered by the uprated Jupiter 7F. One production aircraft was modified for use as an advanced trainer after evaluation by the Central Flying School at Upavon. This was ordered by the RAF, the production aircraft differing from the prototype in having slightly swept wings and an enlarged fin to improve spin recovery. The Bulldog never saw combat with the RAF. 
Although during the Abyssinia crisis of 1935-36, Bristol Bulldogs were sent to the Sudan to reinforce Middle East Command, Douglas Bader, better known for his Second World War actions, lost both of his legs when his Bristol Bulldog crashed while he was performing unauthorized aerobatics at Woodley Airfield near Reading. The Bulldog was withdrawn from RAF Fighter Command in July 1937, being primarily replaced by the Gloucester Hornet, but continued to serve the RAF for a few years with service flying training schools. The Bulldog was exported to foreign air forces, seeing service with Australia, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, Japan, Latvia, Siam, and Sweden. In 1936, Latvia, intent on replacing its Bulldogs with more modern aircraft, sold 11 Bulldogs to Basque nationalist forces. These became part of the Spanish Republican Air Force in the Spanish Civil War remaining in use until the Battle of Santander. Ten Bulldogs saw combat as part of the Finnish Air Force during the Winter War against the Soviet Union, which began in 1939. The Bulldogs fought against their Soviet opponent, gaining two kills by two pilots for the loss of one of their own. The types shot down being one Polycarp of 116 and one two Pole FSB, both of which were superior in terms of technology compared to the Bulldog. The first aerial victory of the Finnish Air Force was achieved by a Bulldog piloted by Staff Sergeant Tivo Oatu on the 1st of December 1939. Over in 116, the Bulldogs were used in advanced training during the subsequent continuation war against the Soviet Union. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and until next time.